Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Głowalski and today I'm going to continue the series of DataSnap XE tutorials and focus on authentication and authorization in DataSnap applications. For this episode I'm going to build a standalone DataSnap server application. So this application is going to be a VCL Forms application. I'm going to uh, keep the default TCP IP protocol as a protocol uh, for my server application but this time I'm also going to select authentication and authorization. I'm going to keep the all other default values uh, non-changed so we'll have a, a communication port TCP IP 211 and a base class for my server methods T component. Okay my server application has been created. I'm going to save it uh, in a directory that was already prepared, uh, DataSnap Labs uh, Authentication and Authorization. My Unit 2 is the ma main form of my uh, server application, so it's going to be called Form Server Unit. And my Server Container Unit generated by the Wizard and Server Methods unit uh, Units will remain unchanged. And I'm going to call my server secure DS server. Okay, so that's my starting point for the VCL forms application. So let's have a look on the server, server container unit generated by the wizard. Notice that one of the new components added by the wizard as compared to the previous episodes of uh, Delphi Labs Data Snap XC series is the DS Authentication Manager. This is the component uh, that is responsible for authenticating and authorizing users. So first of all, uh, what is an authentication and authorization? The wizard has generated for us two empty uh, event handlers, one for, for user authenticate event and one for user authorize event. The process of authentication is a process of establishing who is the user based on provided information in the form of a username, password and potentially other information like for example protocol being used to connect to our server. So the responsibility of the programmer uh, in the body uh, of the user authenticate event is first of all make sure that we assign uh, to the value the parameter valid that is passed by reference uh, true or false. So if we assign true uh, this means that the user is authenticated and can continue uh, using our uh, data snap server and if, if we assign false this means uh, that a user is not authenticated and cannot uh, use uh, our server and cannot uh, continue with calling uh, other methods. Also the wizard has generated for us a user authorize event. So this is the uh, event uh, that is used for authorization of users but we are not going uh, to use this mechanism for user authorization we are going to do uh, differently so the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, remove uh, the body of this event and click on save so my uh, event on user authorize uh, has been removed. So currently I have only one uh, line of code, valid is true. So as a programmer I need to decide what are the criteria for the user to be authenticated. In a typical uh, application you will probably uh, go to a database table and look up uh, the user based on the username and possibly uh, check the password so probably ne never uh, you would get the password in a clean uh, text maybe you will get just a, a hash of your password so for my application I'm going uh, to decide on the first rule uh, of authentication so any user uh, that the username is not empty uh, is authenticated. So I'm going to actually change this one line of code and uh, replace it with uh, the code like this. So if the user name is not empty uh, then the valid uh, equals true. So if the, if the user is empty then it's not authenticated. 
Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing we need to do is to add users to roles. So that's actually the fine-grained data snap security based on user roles. So the first thing is to decide if the user is authenticated or not. And the second thing is based on the uh, user identity that we already established, we can assign users to certain roles. So we are going to de define uh, one role called admins. So if the username is admin, so I'm going to write a little bit of code. So if the user is admin, I'm going to add this user to user roles and I'm going to I'm going to add it to admins. So this is a very simple uh, demo style implementation of the user authenticate. So basically we have uh, two types uh, of users, just arbitrary authenticated user that is uh, not empty and uh, the user that has a name admin is added to the user roles uh, admins. Okay, so that's what we need to do uh, in the server container unit. But how do we decide and how we implement the fine-grained uh, security uh, on our server methods? So there are actually two ways to achieve this. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to come back to my default layout and select the authentication manager. Authentication manager has a, a property called roles. We can use this uh, property uh, to uh, specify uh, what are the names of the server methods we want to use and specify authorized roles and denied roles. This is the first possibility uh, of implementing uh, this functionality. So let me actually go ahead and remove this because I don't want to use uh, this style uh, of uh, authentication. I'm going to use a custom attributes. There is a special custom attribute uh, DS, uh, T role out defined in a DS out uh, unit uh, that can be used to decorate uh, server methods. So I'm going to go to the uh, server methods unit and the first thing I need to do uh, is to add uh, the DS out uh, unit to the uh, users clause so I can actually uh, use uh, the uh, T roll out custom attribute. Uh, this attribute actually its constructor there is an overloaded uh, constructor and we can uh, s specify what are the authorized roles that we want to pass uh, to this constructor. So I'm going to I'm working in a low resolution so I'm going to have an uh, editor full screen. Okay so let's actually um, define on the site on a, a second uh, rule, a second security rule that any authenticated user uh, is going to be able to call our echo string method but only uh, admins will be able to call reverse string method. So I'm going to actually T roll out is the name of the attribute and here I need to specify uh, at least authorized roles and optionally denied roles. So I'm going to specify that admins uh, is the role uh, that I can uh, specify that okay now only admins can call reverse string. It's also possible uh, to decorate the whole server methods class so for example like this so in this case we don't need to actually apply attributes to individual methods. The attribute that is applied to the whole uh, class will be applied to uh, individual methods. But I want to have a fine-grained uh, security so I only need uh, to restrict access to admins. Also to make sure that I see there is a proper uh, call to echo string I'm going to uh, return something more complicated than just a value I'm going to uh, return uh, two values. Okay at this stage uh, my uh, basic secure uh, server is ready I'm going to move uh, back uh, to my default layout I'm going to save my application and now I'm ready to actually add uh, to this uh, application to this project group my uh, client project.